Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it's time to learn how to work a ladder question. Now, ladder questions are very, very, very stock in physics. As in, I guarantee you, if you're taking a test on torque, you're going to have a ladder on there. So let's get into how to work a ladder problem. Okay, first of all, ladders are very generic in how they work, which means pretty much I can go ahead and lay a ladder question out like this. I'm going to take a very small pin here. The ladder will usually be sitting on top of the floor, and it will be leaning up against the wall. Honestly, I would love to draw my ladder as big as I could. If I could have fit it over on the whole page and get it on here, I would have done that. Because that the bigger you draw a ladder, the easier it is to make your diagram correct. I'm going to read the question. A uniform 10 meter long 50 newton ladder. All right, the uniform means that dead in the center of this ladder, I'm going to put my dot, and dead in the center, I'm going to draw an arrow straight down, and that's 50 newtons. It also gives me some stuff. It says that this ladder is 10 meters long. Now, hey, I'm going to go ahead and let you on something. A lot of times you do these ladder questions, they won't even tell you a length. It doesn't matter. If it doesn't give you a length to the ladder, just say that the ladder is one, and then you can say that this weight is is at a half, is all you need to do. So that's the only trick to that. Don't, don't get scared if one doesn't give you a length. It's really not trying to be any harder. Uh, the ladder is just on the verge of slipping when it's at the wall. It tells me one more thing. It says that this angle down at the bottom, it says that this angle is at 50 degrees down at the bottom. So it gives me that. And that's all this problem tells me. The rest of it is stuff, this is it. The rest is problems, things you got to know automatically. Every ladder, I mean, this has got to be stock. As soon as you go, oh, it's a ladder. Here's what I want you to do. Go down to the bottom. And I want you to do this. Straight up. Where it's sitting on the floor, there's your normal force. Sitting on the floor, so there's the normal force. This ladder, just about every ladder has a friction going this way, straight at the wall. So a mu n. Now, I know one problem in APC we did, there was a rope tied to the bottom. Well, the one with the rope tied to the bottom, we just wrote T. We just put tension here. And then every ladder has got, right up here at the top, We've got this reaction force. Now, we could call it Rx. They usually don't call it Rx. And that's because there's no Ry. So it keeps it. This is your basic ladder, which basically I'm implying to you right now in a thousand words or less. If you see a ladder problem, do this automatically. Draw your ladder. I'm talking the second you see it's a ladder question. Draw your ladder. Dead in the center of the ladder, you'll probably have a weight on that ladder. Bam. Automatic. You will probably have at the bottom a mu n. You will have a n and you will have an r, a reaction force from the wall. Boom. Straight. Done. That is your basic every single ladder question. The only thing that might change is on this ladder, someone might climb the ladder. If someone climbs the ladder, just... Draw another arrow straight down for the person climbing the ladder. If they weigh 500, then write 500 down for their weight. That is your basic ladder. Now, if you work one with a friction, now that's going to get pretty crazy. A friction at the top of the ladder. If you have one with a friction at the top of the ladder, well, you'll have to request that one because I ain't just going to do it unless I'm asked to. Otherwise, you'll have to come take my class. But anyway, here's this ladder question. Nobody is trying to climb the ladder. And now here's where everybody messes up a ladder question. They're so gung-ho, got to do a torque, got to do a torque, got to do a torque. Stop it. Most torque questions start by doing this. Some of the forces X, some of the forces Y. This is where they all begin. Do this first. What points this way? Mu N. So I've got a mu N. What points this way? R minus R equals zero. Up, I've got an N. Down, five, I've got 50. 
And all the question says is find mu. Well, to find mu, I need n. Wait, got n. It's right there. n would be 50. But I need to get that r. So this is where the torques come in. Well, let's do something real quick. Let's see. If this is 50, this would be 40. If that is 50, then this would be 40. If this is 50, then this would be 50. Before you get carried away in these problems, go through, get all your angles and all that. Also, the ladder is 10 meters long, so that is 10, which means that that is sitting at 5. I'm ready to do my problem now. Do my torques. Sum of all my torques is equal to, wait, I haven't picked the pivot point. I kind of did. I've already labeled it 5 and 10, which means I'm implying I'm going to make the bottom of the ladder the pivot point. By the way, I always make the bottom of the ladder the pivot point. Reason why? Cancels out both of these forces if I pick the bottom to be the pivot point. So I'm going to make that my pivot point. Cancels out mu n and n from my torques. And now all I got to do is look. There's only one clockwise. It's the 50. And one counterclockwise. It's the R. So I'm going to have 50 sine 45. So let's get this. 50 sine of 40 times 5 minus the counterclockwise. R sine 50 times 10 and bam. Set that equal to zero. I'm done. Everybody's always afraid of ladder questions. And what's funny is they're so easy. They're, look at all your sum of the forces. There's not even an angle in them. And then we can come over here and we can take a look at this. So let's put this in a calculator. 50 sine 40 times 5. So that's 161 minus sine of 50 times 10, sine 50 times 10, 7.7, so 7.7R equals 0, 161, wow, I'm being really slow right now, divided by 7.7 is 20.9. So there is my R. Which means this problem didn't want me to find that R. It wanted me to find mu. Well, that's no big deal. Mu times 50 minus 20.9 equals 0. Which means we can go back up here. 20.9 divided by 50. 0.418. Point, I'll round it to 0.42. And lo and behold, there is the mu to this problem. Again, ladders are often very generic. The only thing they'll change is you'll have somebody climbing. If somebody was climbing this ladder, the only thing that would change is I would have n minus 50 minus their weight. And then down here, I would also have the 50 sine 40. And then whatever their weight was, also clockwise added in. But there is the basic ladder question. Enjoy.